Hey guys, Dude on a Dime here. So Charlie is filming. Say hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Because I want to show you guys the inside of our deep freezer. A lot of you guys in my fridge organization video asked to see the inside of my freezer, how I do that. There's a lot of things that you can freeze that you may not be taking advantage of and utilizing. We freeze everything from cheese to hot dogs to eggs to milk and even fruit like bananas, vegetables. So in my blog post, there'll be a link in the description. I actually made a document for you guys, but it's basically a list of every single food that you can freeze and maximize your dollar so you don't throw things away. So that is in the description. Please be sure to check that out. So this is our deep freezer. It is nothing glamorous, nothing beautiful. I feel like if your deep freezer is glamorous and beautiful, you're missing the point. Just kidding. That means I'm jealous of you. But anyway, inside here, we just have like a really big reusable bag. You can get these freer for like a dollar at the grocery store. And in here, I have like chicken and stuff like that, but it's all in one bag. This is all of the poultry that we have. So we can take this down and then pull out the next bag. And this is all of the seafood that we have. So it's all in one section, it's in one space. So that way I'm never digging through this freezer to try to find something. Everything is all in one location. I do not do a chart of like what goes in and what goes out, it's way too complicated. I don't have time for that. This is just the easiest way to do it. And then down here, we just have like other freezer meals and stuff that we do. So we try to keep it really simple and easy so it's a system that can actually be maintained. So I'm gonna take you guys to our freezer and show you how to organize the inside of that. So here's the deep freezer of our main fridge and some tips that I use to keep it organized. The first thing is I try to section things off by bins. This bin is from the dollar store. And if you guys are wondering, these little vegetable packs, the bird's eye ones, they actually fit perfectly in these bins, almost like a file system. So you can keep like five or six on hand and they're not gonna fall over the inside of the freezer. And then the other ones I can just lay in front like some of the bigger packs. And over here, I've just taken like a little pencil organizer from the dollar store, and then I stick the freeze packs in here and Carson's little boo-boo owl. And then over here, I've done a similar type thing. This basket is from the dollar store. It's actually a collapsible bin, but I really try to take everything out of the boxes. So I don't really have boxes cluttering up the fridge as much as I can. This box is like this because it actually serves as a really great organizer for these, but these, it just took up too much room. So I just stick them on top. I've got freezer dinners. Again, I can look at them like a file system so it's really easy to see what I have. And then down here, because we have our deep freezer, this is just basic stuff that we're probably gonna be eating within the next month. I like to freeze everything, like I said. So I have like brownie bites here. These freeze up great. They're awesome with ice cream. I've got like some ground beef right there, buns in here, even like a pie crust. So all of this stuff are things that I wanna get to soon. And then up here, I just have um, frozen pizzas, which we usually got on a really good deal just for like a dinner night where we don't know what to make. We try to really go through our freezer at least in like a big way every six months or so just to make sure that we're eating everything. And we do a deep clean of it about once a year. And I find the easiest way to deep clean a freezer is actually with a vacuum cleaner because you would be surprised at how many food particles fall out of bags and get in there. And I feel like with wipes, you're just kind of wiping them around. So I suck them all up with a vacuum cleaner and then I go through with my DIY wipes and I will put a link to that in the description for you guys and just wipe it down so it's really clean. And that's how we keep it clean. That's how we keep it organized. So I just like to be able to see what I have and then I know what we need to eat and just keep things really, really simple. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know in the description if there's anything that you like to freeze that helps you save money. Please be sure to go head over to my website, print that document. It is free. All of the stuff that you can freeze to save yourself a ton because I really feel like it is worth it, especially with food, because I hate when food goes to waste.